lesson that we learned yesterday. So we are learning about CSS classes. And we would try to style each paragraph differently from the other. So looking at your images, they are the same images with the same image link. Looking at your left side, we only have four images here, but we have different sizing for all your images. This is because of CSS classes. If you would click on style.css, you would notice that we have one class for top image and one class for main image. We usually start the name. No, we always start the CSS class name with a period and followed by the class name. These are what we call your rule set. They are a set of parameters that define the height, the width, or the styling of your images or your other classes. So in this case, it tells us that our top image will have the height of 50, will have a border radius of five pixel, a margin of 10 pixel, and a border style that is ridged. If we will change one of them, like let's say I would want, I would want my margin to go like 20, and it will be thicker, it will automatically populate or you would automatically see the difference. Let's play something with a border radius. So the border radius is the corners having rounded. And going to the main image here on our file, you can see that the main image is bigger than the top image. And our main image here has 200 pixels. So if you could play around with all of the class set here, a rule set, sorry, with a rule set, you may. The way to make this appear in our code is to call your class name. So to call your class name is to put the class name exactly as how it is written. So for example, top dash IMG was written in all small letters. So that is how we will write uh, your class top IMG. All you need to do is just add it at your image tag. And there you go. You have your class top IMG. This activity that I asked you to do yesterday was to create a CSS class for the other paragraph. So basically what we did was first go to style.css, create a styling for our second paragraph, which is choleric. So to get the correct spelling, I have suggested that you just copy and paste what is written here and you create that class name too. Then we have specific borders, border color, and font family for your class choleric. We may change the color for this one just to define it from your other class. So let's say I want this blue. And I could make my border darker, or um, I could make my border thicker than sanguine. 
So originally I have three pixels for Sanguine, but let's say I want this thicker. You could have it at 10 pixels, whatever you prefer. I just want to make it slightly thicker than Sanguine. So, so there, or you could have a different font style for this one. Instead of cursive, you might want to have inherit. To define it to the other one, but you could also have your cursive. Um, if you want to change your border style, instead of just a solid one, you could change it to dashed or ridged. So just go ahead and add your border style so that you could define it and make it different looking from your other class. To make this appear on your HTML document, all you have to do is click on your HTML file and write the class on each tag where you want it to be written. So for example, I want it applied to my image my image tag, my header tag, and my paragraph tag. So notice that we write it exactly as how it was written on style.css. We had the letter C as a capital letter followed by small letters. And it should be inside your brackets. So always remember to have it inside your bracket. It shall not be written outside of your brackets or you will have an error. And it shall be enclosed in double quote. I hope this review helps. So please answer the Ed Puzzle questions after.